I'll never forget the day I came home to my first computer. With one free AOL account, suddenly I had access to email, porn, and Pokemon chat rooms. Those were simpler times before all of my family got smartphones and Facebook accounts. Now I'm constantly shifting between two different keyboards, accents, tildes, double L's, and chainmail texts from my mom. Whether you speak Spanish or not, being Latino or around Latinos means you're bound to run into this shit soon. So here's my handy guide to five things Latinos do on the internet. What does Ja 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 mean? I've been asked this question by my mom's co-workers, white guys who date Latinos, and people looking over my shoulder when I'm texting my grandma, I see you by the way, fellow subway rider, looking at my phone, and you are lucky it is a conversation with my grandma and not the guy who I only know through his dick pics. My Portuguese speaking friends told me they rate their laughter with a K, like caca, which to me sounds like poop, or just KKKK, which to an English speaker could read like a white supremacist having a stroke on his keyboard. TOO MANY K'S! At the end of the day, we've all faced the oppressive hand of autocorrect, or the Yahoo Answers commenter who thinks we're all just using the same typo. But I still can't comprehend how a generation that uses phrases like LMFAO and Rafflecopter can't understand that haha is just laughing in Spanish. Fight about recipes. Latinos are happy to share. Language, clothing, and unless you count the great reggaeton rivalry between Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, music. But if there's one thing we're really particular about, it's food. Tamales, pupusas, mofongo, arepas, tacos, even f***ing rice. Everybody's got their own way of making it, which is obviously the best and only way said dish should be made, because why would their grandmother's recipe ever be wrong? Why would you question that? Then 20 comments later, you realize you've been sucked into a bottomless comments thread that's turned into a conversation about drug cartels and border walls and the merits of the George Lopez show. There were not. Go home, George, you're drunk. Then you realize that because we take our food very personally, and because comment sections are where all good things go to die, that you've been typing all caps angry shit to someone on the other side of the equator over beans, and whether they're called habichuelas or frijoles. Sorry, Henry Pacheco, they're habichuelas. Actually use accents. In Latin America, the keyboards are paved with enes. But no matter where in the world you are, Spanish-speaking Latinos will always go the extra mile and press that Alt-E for an accent. Always. The fact that we have to work harder for accents doesn't really feel fair. I mean, I know it's just an extra key, but have you ever tried slowing down a Latino who's trying to talk? It's like standing between my mom and a Target on Black Friday. Don't try her. And look, in Spanish, this shit is important. The accent over tu could be the difference between you and yours, and the tilde over año could be the difference between year and anus. On a related note, if I get as many happy new anus texts this year as I did last, I will take you literally on the offer and f your butt till we're both happy. Uh, talk politics? I grew up assuming talking politics in public was taboo, if only because it devolved into awkward screaming matches or awkward silences at family gatherings. So at least in my experience, it seemed like Latinos avoided heated political debate. There's been an explosion of political conversation online this year, mostly centered around mobilizing the Latino vote. This means we're engaging online in a way we don't often in person. Look, the internet can feel like a weird place to talk about serious topics, especially if it's on your aunt's Facebook feed. But last year, the Media Insight Project determined that a majority of blacks and Latinos get their news from Facebook. Even if it sounds like you're screaming into a lonely digital void, sometimes it's worth starting a conversation. And who cares if your crazy aunt sees it? It's all faceless. The worst she can do is comment without liking it first. Share religious memes. Does it have the Pope on it? A Bible quote? The baby Jesus? An inspirational picture of a pigeon carrying an olive leaf? Does it have the flags of Argentina or Venezuela or Colombia or Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic or Mexico or anywhere in Central or South America or the Caribbean? Does it contain the words, Comparte con la persona que verdaderamente ama al Señor? Odds are, your grandma will tag you, your 18 cousins, your aunts and uncles, your mom, one of her friends from home, five neighbors, and Mark Anthony in this meme. This is why Latinos and those close to Latinos should remain hyper-vigilant of their notifications, lest your potential Tinder date look at your tagged photos and realize that they consist only of religious deities and grammatically incoherent blessings. I'm a Latino who likes to think he uses the internet pretty efficiently, but I must have missed something. So if I did, let me know in the comments below. And despite what I said earlier, I actually love Pope memes. Make me some Pope memes and tag me in them using the hashtag GabeLovesPope. I'm looking forward to these getting real sloppy.